Before we start SQL injection, we have to find out the vulnerable websites and here Google will help us to find out. Open the browser and go to Google search and type php question id is equal to 1 and hit enter. It will show you the list of web link those are potentially vulnerable and that with end with the php is equal to id 1. But if you want to check any specific website whether it is vulnerable or not add site URL column and specify the website here. We will use the com and find out whether the site is vulnerable for SQL injection or not. As, as you can see here the second link and with id is equal to 1 that means it could be exploit open that link and you can see SQL syntax error on the specific page. Now copy that URL and we will perform the SQL injection using the SQL map tool to hack the database. Now open the terminal and type SQL map space minus u to specify the URL and that you want to perform SQL injection. And at the end type dash dash dbs and hit enter and this will show you all SQL database that you can be exploit now pick any database that you want to fetch data and more details now press up arrow to display the last executed command and remove the dash dash dbs from the command and add minus d that used to specify the specific database in our case it would be a dolphin that I want to exploit. Specify the database name here and at the end type dash dash table and hit enter and you will get list of the tables those are stored in the dolphin database and here it is. Now I want to see what type of information stored in admin underscore user database to find out press up arrow button to display the last executed command and remove the dash dash table and add minus t that used to specify any specific table name and I will specify the admin underscore users and at the end type the dash dash column and hit enter. That will give you the list of the columns of admin underscore user for tables as result it is here there is three columns id password and user underscore id stored in the admin underscore user table. Now I want to know the data stored under the user underscore id column to get it press up arrow to display the last executed command and remove the dash dash column and add minus c that used to specify the column name that you want to explore the data. So first I am going to specify user underscore id column and at the end dash dash dump will display the stored data in specific column and hit enter. As And as you can see root user id displayed. So the only one user is created to manage the specific database and it is root. Now press up arrow to display last executed command and just replace column user underscore id with the password so we can get the password of the root user and hit enter. And it will ask to store hash into the temp file so that we can proceed further with the other tools. Type y and hit enter. Again you will be notified to crack the encrypted password via the dictionary based attack. But it may take time if password is complex. Here I am giving Y to show you the options and hit enter. Again it will give you the different type of dictionary attacks and I am going with the default one. If you have dictionary downloaded files you can choose second option and proceed. Now it is trying to crack the SHA-1 encrypted password but it may take time so I am going to cancel the process by typing the control C and here we have the encrypted password but we have to decrypt it. 
and here I will be using the online SHA-1 decrypt tool to crack the password and it is very fast. To do that, copy the encrypted password and open the browser and search for the SHA-1 decrypt and you will get too many websites that offers online decryption service. I am going to open very first link md5decrypt.net and paste here the encrypted password and click on the decrypt button to proceed. And here it is. In less than a second the encrypted password has been decrypted. 